Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas. Today I'm going to be coloring a commission for a very cool client of everybody's favorite superhero core. No, not the Green Lantern core. Or the Novas. The Deadpool core, obviously. And I'm basically going to be going over why I coded this the way I did and why I made the choices I did and such. This is kind of a humorous piece parodying the actual Lantern Corps rings with ring pops. So I started with Deadpool himself of course and I knew this was going to be a nighttime scene so I wanted him to pop out against the night sky and the buildings so I went with a brighter color scheme for him and his outfit. My style is to basically kind of color inside the outlines of the muscles when dealing with traditional superhero costumes like this one. Later on I'll start bringing in the lights and reflections on him and the team to justify the color choices and bring everything together. One thing I really appreciate about Deadpool's design is the limited color scheme. He's only three colors, red, black, and brown, with some accents here and there. That makes the job much simpler, and in the case of the whole team, I can pretty much color everyone the same way. I ended up going with the blue lights up top tacked as a moonlit glow. A technique I've done a couple of times in the past already. So I'm jumping ahead right here from Kid Pool and Dog Pool onto Lady Pool so I can explain about a technique that I used on Dog Pool and her. I'm still using the swatches from earlier, but I'm using a more desaturated, darker tint for Dog and Lady Pool. And the reason for that is so that the contrast will separate her and Dog Pool from Kid Pool and Deadpool, whose outfits are the regular candy red hue. It simultaneously pushes her to the background and Dogpool to the foreground, 
especially since I'll put a small cloud of fog in front of the whole scene later. Headpool came last as he was the easiest to do. I painted his flesh a brownish color since he's kinda cooked, I think. To be honest, I had no idea if the Deadpool core existed as Deadpool has never been one of my favorite characters. I've never really checked for him like that. I didn't know what kind of comics he had running. I have actually had to draw him on a couple of occasions already actually. Now I move on to the background. Coming into this piece, the client was pretty specific about the scenery but not too strict. So I was able to play with some angles and buildings that I wanted and such. It had to be a night scene though, so I wanted that smoky, foggy, New York night look. And I achieved that by putting some rooftop clouds and some cloud overlays in Photoshop, as well as using a bluish hue on the foreground skyscrapers. I reddened the buildings in the background to emulate the city being lit up and to contrast the foreground buildings. Added some little lights to let you know someone's home. By the way, I would recommend not using any broken lines on your cities if you can help it. With windows like this, it's easier to just pick the magic wand tool and click inside them, 
and if any of your lines are broken it's going to make this part take way longer. Now for the birds. I ended up darkening the birds in the background at the client's suggestion, which was a great call on his part. That about wraps it up, but make sure you follow me on the meantime on social media, Facebook, Instagram, DeviantArt, Twitter, everywhere that you are, I am also. The links will be down below in the video corner and also in the description box. Leave your comments and suggestions for any other kinds of content that you would like to see, any other characters you want me to draw. Thank you for watching.